professor, I will test you in the worst way. Don't bring a scantron, it's pop quizzes all day. Cause of our chemistry, we do biology. What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail. See, Jesus told me to tell you, black men, it's all your fault. Yep, that would, that's what these preachers and these people who use religion to, to, to pimp and pilfer and, and, and put out propaganda. I feel like Bugs Bunny, a perplexing pitch will do. You know, God told me to tell you, you know, in, in Ephesians 13 and 12, that even though you know, you made all these decisions that were bad decisions. All you got to do, amen, is blame a black man. And that's right. It'll be his fault. Hallelujah. So, you know, you get on social media and you see these guys and all of them. And I'm not just talking about preachers. I'm talking about guys who are, who come off as ultra religious. Or you can tell they got a, they came up in the church and they, and they play this game where, you know, they were, they use the church as cover for their effery. And it's like, yeah, you know, but see all these men out here doing lying and cheating and stealing and beating women with hot coat hangers and irons and, and having babies all across town. And this, these men are not leaders and they're not providers and they're not protectors. Who you talking about is the dude in the mirror. But then you won't leave, but see, God, just, just, we got to put this out there because God needs the truth out there. Well, God needs you to admit that it's you you're talking about. What's the problem? I mean, since you're going to live in truth, say you was the one lying, cheating, you know, beating women with hot coat hangers and irons. And you got a kid across town that you don't, you don't even, you act like don't exist. You you walked by him in the grocery store two days ago. You, See, some of y'all see, see these guys who want to use Jesus as an excuse and God as an excuse. Y'all the same guys, you, you enjoy all the BS you doing. You enjoy all the shenanigans you doing. You ten toes down in it. But then you want to sit in your car. You want to sit in your house. You want to sit in the, in, your, in the room. You want to sit in the bathroom. And you want to cry in the dog. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, God, forgive me. Oh, oh Lord. Oh, 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 but what's done in the dog is gonna come to the light, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide this until I die, hopefully. And it'll come out 30 years later and I go, please forgive me. Man, shut the f up. But what, but what I'm gonna do in the meantime is I'm gonna blame men. And some of y'all are blaming me. Some of y'all are worse. Y'all, 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 y'all blasphemous, dirty Max. You will use the Bible, the Quran, whatever religion you can use to tell women who are going through something in life that you're good and these other guys are bad just so you could slip your sausage into her buns and then be everything to her that you said all these other men was to her and then use that same religion to say that she ain't good enough for you. Well, you see, the religion says that you know I'm I'm of the righteous kind, and you you are you you are vile and defiled. Uh, so I got to move on and find somebody more more righteous, cause you know Jesus told me in in uh, uh, Deuteronomy uh, uh, seven and and fifteen that you know these ain't loyal. So don't give your heart to him. You know, that's right. He said, stay ice cold. You know, outcast, Andre 3000, you know, love below reference. You know. So now we want to play this game again. You know, everything is, you know, is a man's fault. A man needs to be this. And the bad part about it is when you hear these these guys talk about manhood and leadership. They are the very same guys who will take the most sucker way out of a situation and then stand on it like, yeah, I did it. 
But see, when it's time to pay them consequences, now you want to you wanna hark on Jesus. Yeah. No. 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 Now you want to sit in the middle of the choir talking about, oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Now you want to sing his eyes on the sparrow. Man, but bring pull my machete out and, and, and chop half your damn neck off. You know, I saw a past out here. Y'all need to buy me a Movado watch. No, what they need to buy is a, is a pistol. That's what they need to buy. That's what they need to buy. Because now y'all are playing this game where, you know, using the Bible to say men of this and men of that, and, and, and they're to the blame for everything is, is why people, the guys left the church anyways, because now, now the church is filled with people who don't, who want to get away with murder, literally and figuratively. And go, huh, but Jesus know my heart. Jesus know you're going to hell too. So blame it. And when y'all find out Jesus is a black man, oh, 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 brother, 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 let it slide, brother. No, stop it. But I'm done. Like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and catch you on the next one. Peace.